Welcome to Miss I's podcast. This would be punctuating dialogue rules. You should have the worksheet in front of you. Um, this video is a great way to stop and go back if you don't know how to do something, so definitely take advantage of that. Um, as I go through this, around this mark little uh, cursor here, you should see a yellow circle and that will kind of let you know where I am. Um, so right now we're looking at punctuating dialogue rules. Um, the first rule we want to look at is indent the paragraph for each new speaker. A new speaker basically equals a new paragraph. This way you'll be able to know who's talking. So if you look down here at our example, you see that Drew talks, then Dana, then Drew, and each one of them has their own line, their own paragraph. Number two, only the exact words of the speaker go inside the quotation marks. So if you notice, what exactly Drew says, where are you going, goes inside those marks right there. Drew hissed is on the outside. And the direct quote begins with a capital letter. So every time you'll see that whatever's inside the quote is going to start with a capital letter. Number three, when you're writing dialogue, all punctuation marks at the quote go inside the quote marks. So see how there's an explanation point here, a comma, and a, or excuse me, a question mark, a comma, and an explanation point. They all go inside of the quotes. So moving down to number, next number four, um, the words are used to identify the speaker are called the tagline. Words like said, replied, screamed, etc. are never capitalized in the tagline. So things like Mary said or Jane replied, as you can see up here, they just go after or before your quote, but they don't get capitalized. This is called our tagline. So moving down to number five, there are basically three types of taglines. If your tagline comes before your quote, then a comma should always follow the tag. So John asked is our tagline. So there's a comma and then where did everyone go? Question mark. So notice how the comma came right after the tag but before the explanation point or, or quotation marks. So with this one, if the tagline is after the quote, the ending punctuation after the actual quote before the tagline can never be a period. If the sentence would normally end in a period, substitute a comma. So everyone decided to go. Notice I didn't put a period, I put a comma, said John, period. So I put that comma inside of the quotation marks. Up here, I put it right after the tagline, but if it's first, it comes inside the quotation marks. Now, there's an exception to this rule. If the end mark is a question mark or explanation point, you can just leave that. So where did everyone go, question mark? We don't have to change that to a comma. It can just stay a, a question mark. And then that, last but not least, if the tagline is in the middle of the quote, when the tagline splits one sentence or the quote into two parts, a comma follows the first part of the quote and then the tagline. So right here we see, I have two dogs, said Jane, that fight all the time. Basically Jane said, I have two dogs that fight all the time. But when we're writing this, this person wanted to put the tagline in the middle, so they put the comma right here after the first part of the quote, and then our tagline, and then another comma, and then the rest of the quote. So basically, in just those five rules, we have all the parts. So let's go ahead and flip your paper over and let's put this all together. Think about the rules we examined when reading over this passage of dialogue. So, did you see that? Tony yelled as he slammed on the brakes of his Mercury. Janet was nearly thrown into the windshield, but Tony's strong hand against her sleeve held her back. The bright lights from the night sky lit up the car like a neon sign. Of course I did, Janet replied quickly. I've never seen anything like that before, Tony stated firmly. Janet responded, me either. What should we do? Suddenly, Tony grabbed the gear shift next to her leg. The first thing we are doing is getting the heck out of here. Janet agreed. Tony quickly shifted in reverse and the car began to move backwards. Janet could smell the burning rubber of the tires as Tony turned the car around and headed back. So a couple things I noticed about this. Did you see that? Notice the, the question mark goes inside the quotations. And I still have my tagline here and I go into a little bit of description. Now notice I didn't start another paragraph until Janet started talking. Once Janet starts talking, I gotta indent that paragraph and let my reader know that someone else is reading. 
Again, I have my punctuation inside and then the tagline. And now notice Tony talks again right after Janet, so I have to go to another paragraph. And again, I have my punctuation inside and then my tagline. Now again, Janet tagged or Janet talks, so we have another paragraph, but this time the tagline is in the front. So then I put my punctuation, then my quote. And notice that quote is always capitalized even if it comes in the middle of a sentence. So again, Tony goes to talk again, so again we have another paragraph. It's really going back and forth here, so that's why we have a lot of new paragraphs. So I've got a little bit of description, and then Tony um, talks, and we have our, ex our, our explanation point there for punctuation. Then Janet talks again, we've got another paragraph. And so with this, we can see that all the rules are followed here. So just make sure that you're using those rules, and you should be set. So now go ahead and make sure you get to Kia and try that rags to riches game. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later.